Hello and welcome to Gabbit Media, I'm Grant Abbott and today I'm going to talk about EV and transparencies, looking particularly at transparent textures, so those textures that have an alpha channel. A good example would be this bonsai tree here and the leaves and small branches are made up of lots of transparent textures, as you can see here. Now a transparent texture is usually something like a PNG file and it's where the background has been removed and usually you see some sort of checkered pattern like this. Textures.com have a lot of nice transparent textures like grasses and branches and things like that and this particular image I got from textures.com. So let's show you how to set them up. I'll create a new file and I'll delete the cube and in order to get this to work the easiest way is to go to edit user preferences or preferences as it's called now and make sure you have images as plain. So type in images into the search bar and make sure you have import images as planes ticked. Now when you go to add, shift A is the shortcut or you can go add. You've got an option under your images, images as planes. So if you find your file and import it, you won't see anything straight away. Let's go across to the shading tab and see what's going on. It's imported it and it's set up our material for us. Looks a bit confusing but it's actually fairly straightforward. We have both a color and an alpha channel. So alpha is the transparency bit. The color just goes into a diffuse and into a mix shader. It mixes it with a transparent. And in order to know what's transparent, it has that alpha channel going to the factor here. But in our viewport, it doesn't work. We need to come to the menu in the shader editor by pressing N and under the options, there is a blending mode and at the moment it's opaque and there's three options here alpha blend, hashed and clipped. There's some others but they're not important to us at the moment. Alpha clipped is the cheapest. Cheapest in terms of render times and processor power. So if alpha clip works for you then use it. If it doesn't you might want to go to alpha hashed. That's more expensive and it works a bit more like cycles and often sort of clears up problems for you. So start off with clipped and go to hashed if that's not working. There's also alpha blend, which you could argue is somewhere in between. So I'm going to go to alpha clipped. We have a clipping threshold as well, which can help. If I bring that up, if you've got any white fringes or anything like that, that can help get rid of those. But if it's a good starting image, then 0.5 is fine. So in order to get your alphas to work, you must go to these settings and change the blend mode to either alpha clipped, hashed or alpha blend. And once you've done that, you can set up leaves and branch systems. You can also do textures on objects with decals and the shrink wrap modifier. And it's a common technique used in game engines for things like leaves and grass. Okay, so a short one today, but I hope that helps. I'll see you next time.